to take a look at the fetal pig brain today. So what we'll have to do is try to snip the skull here. A lot of times this doesn't work very well because the brain is so soft. And by the time you cut through the skull, you end up damaging it. But we will try here. So what we did here was I just peeled a layer off the top of the head and now we're cutting through the skull. Which if this was an adult animal obviously would be very hard to do because the skull is pretty solid. What you're looking at here is the top of the cerebrum. This layer right here, this is some tough elastic tissue. And this tissue is called the dura mater. So you've got a nice, tough, protective setup around your brain. Okay, when we're looking at this, and the brain is about almost like jello. It's split into two halves. And we generally call those hemispheres. And so this would be the right hemisphere. This would be the left hemisphere. What you're seeing when you're looking at this right here, all these little ridges and folds, the folds are called meninges or convolutions. The ridge part of them is called gyri. And then where you see all the little dark lines, and then right in here, those little valleys are called sulci. Okay, we're going to attempt to cut down here a bit more. I try to open this up and remove some of the brain. And we're cutting right above the eyes now. really difficult on a premature pig like this to get things out of here in good shape. see it's got that jelloey like texture and this is falling apart on us let me really get that out okay this is why when somebody has a concussion it's a big problem because in this way here, you can see some of the folds a little bit better, but your brain is really mushy like this. 
And so if you get hit really hard on one side, then it tends to shift and that's where you can get blood vessels that are torn because the skull is, is a nice solid box around there and so this stuff here gets jarred back and forth and it can get bruised, blood vessels, damage, things like that. And if it starts to swell, it doesn't have any place to go except down towards the spinal cord. And if that happens in severe concussion cases, then people end up dying. But we're going to remove a bit more of this. The coloration on the inside is white and gray. So when they talk about white matter and gray matter, that's where those terms come from. Okay, and you can see the space that the brain was in. And then towards the back part here, if we can get this out, would be the cerebellum. So I had to sever the spinal cord and we do not have things done very well here. And you can see where that fit into this space down here. All of this here would be the cerebellum in that area. The folds would be a lot smaller and finer when you get to that. And then it would travel down to the spinal cord towards the back down in there. Again, and the eyes are, are setting here, right in there. And we can find your optic nerves would be coming out right in here. There you can see one space there and then the other one right there. So from the right eye and then from the left eye, fitting in those area. Up in front here, you've got a, would have been a set of tissue going to the nose area and that'd be the olfactory lobes. And that's about as much, and you can see Possibly and in there, well, we're not going to get a good look at down inside there. It's just, uh, it's too difficult with a fetal pig. But that gives you an idea how, how big the brain would be on this animal here. Okay, and that'll be it for the fetal pig. <laughs>